20 years you have been doing this, you have been having a lot of fun, and the best is yet to come. How are you tonight? Thank you for being here. Cosplay is a gift. It's a gift that everybody shares. It's a way of saying, I like this, and I want you all to know, and I hope you appreciate it. And for the next little while or so, we're going to see some great people walking the stage, sharing their love of these characters with you. So let's give them a round of applause for that, right out of the gate. Now. This doesn't is in a vacuum. We also have some also help. We have some fine sponsors. Those sponsors are the Nebraska Furniture Mart is providing $6,000 in prizes. <laughs> Granted, we got a lot of prizes to give out now, but that's all. We also have the U.S. Toy Magic and Costume Shop also providing over $900 in gift certificates to the winners. A round of applause for them. Rock Costumes is providing custom Planet Comic Con Kansas City trophies to all our winners. Our, our ALC of Translator, everybody, a round of applause for her and the fine work she's doing. And with that to say, we have to have also a good shout out to to our, our team, Brian Stout, Tamara, and Tiffany. They're running things backstage. Please get a round of applause for them. So to get us warmed up, okay, what we've got is, we've got a little video we'd like to show for all of us, okay? This is specifically for the cosplay community in the Kansas City area. And it's a brief preview of, it's a cosplay documentary called, What We Can Be. It's by local cosplayer and filmmaker, Nicholas Young, okay? And what, and it's called, what, can, what We Can Be Unmasked Kansas City Cosplayers. Revealing their triumphs, struggles, courage to inspire acceptance over hate. And you can follow there's more information on this at their Facebook page and their Instagram at what we can be. So with that being said, Smokey, let's roll it! I've seen just such the greatest transformation. I don't know when it happened, like if it's like you put on a mask or you put on a wig or like you finish putting on gloves and then you're there. Excitement on top of anxiety on top of just joy that you get to see all your friends and wear this costume that you probably work really hard on. When my youngest was Tinkerbell, and she chased my son Peter Pan around the garden all day. Kept trying to kiss him on the cheek because she thought it was funny. We've had a lot of dads like run across and be like, oh my god, Thundercats! And, and so it's really cool to kind of watch adults sort of transform back into their childhood and they see an iconic character. When I first entered the Kansas City community, I was just welcomed with open arms and everyone was so positive and so uplifting. No matter what you wanted to do, no matter what your cosplay was, or whether or not you made it or you didn't make it. You have everyone from different walks of life all kind of coming together to celebrate characters and fandom. It's just something about spreading that joy that makes cosplay so addictive. People are smiling, they're having a good time, they're laughing. It brings a lot of satisfaction to both the cosplayers and to the people attending the event. There's so many like-minded individuals that like when they come together collectively, everyone can be themselves. You can't have a really good contest without really good judges. So with that being said, let me please introduce your judges for the 2019 Planet Comic Con Costume Contest. First, please welcome to the stage, Orange Go Fish. 
Orange Goldfish is from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and loves the way cosplay photography gets others to smile. Her interests also include collaborating with friends to create memorable cosplay groups and volunteering. Orange Goldfish has volunteered in groups such as Over 30 Cosplay, Costumers with a Cause, Midwest, Cosplayer Nation, The Age of Geeks, Comic Booked, and other organizations, as well as writing for Geek 3 HQ and Comic Booked. Orange Goldfish's most memorable cosplays are fabricating the Red Queen with a Wasteland Alice group from SKS props, foam smithing for Doc Matrix from Spaceballs, and wearing the Inquisitor Warhammer 40k Rogue Traders from Kosovar Studios. Long live the Emperor! You can now see more of her work at her Instagram at Orange Go Fish or her Facebook page, Jen Greeley. <laughs> Next, please welcome your next judge, Cheeky Cheetah! Cheeky Cheetah started cosplaying in 2014 when her four-year-old son wanted her to help him make a costume. Since then, she has become an award-winning cosplayer, including Best Foam Work Master at Planet Comic Con Kansas City 2018, Best Show at Tokyo and Tulsa 2017, First Place in the Dallas Fan Expo Masters of Cosplay Contest 2018. She has also been featured cosplay contest judge and guest at several conventions and is also highly involved with children's organizations. You can follow her on her Facebook and Instagram at Cheeky Cheetah cosplay next look at the stage team whatever cosplay team whatever cosplay consists of Elsie Mann and Teresa Xerbos they have been competing and judging at competitions all around the country since 2006 and have been featured in Cosplay in America, Volume 2. Teresa specializes in tailoring, pattern drafting, and skit writing. In contrast, Elsie's abilities lie in props, wigs, and makeup, and meld these skills together in their musical skit parodies. Team Whatever Cosplay, ladies and gentlemen. And next, I have shared the stage with them before. Please welcome to the stage, Kamui Cosplay. <laughs> Kamui Cosplay is the husband and wife team of Silvetta and Benny from Germany. Silvetta is an internationally acclaimed costume designer, author, teacher, and video creator from Deutschland. With over 15 years' experience, she and Benny have created many award-winning costumes and published a series of highly popular international books. Kami loves to travel, judge costume competitions, and give talks and presentations at conventions around the world, supporting newcomers as well as veterans with creating their own costume projects. Woo! Ah, uh, vo 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 Lines, good to see you again. All right, judges, any last minute advice for all of our panelists out there? Keep a cool head and we will love to see your performances. You will rock the show, and we're super excited to see you all. Do your best and have a blast. Show us your stuff. It's all about having fun. Woo! So how about that, Patacon? Are you ready to have some fun? Are you ready to begin? with our novice category. Ladies and gentlemen, opening our show, please give it up for Glenn and the X01 Power Armor from Fallout.
need that guy to follow me around every convention. Do that about three o'clock in the afternoon. All right. <laughs> Next, welcome to the stage, Paul as Iron Man from Marvel Comics. <laughs> from Ghostbusters. fight one of those chairs next year. Oh, boy. <laughs> next, give it up for Catherine as Pyronikos from Ruby from Rooster Teeth. from Overwatch. <laughs> Next we have Candace as Harley Quinn from DC.
his head. <laughs> uh, keep it going for that contraption, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and once again, a Dalek's greatest enemy are the stairs. Yeah, I know, until later on then, so they can hover. All right, next, look at the stage, Cody as Darth Maul from Star Wars. You'll be sorry! <laughs> Next, from the stage, Jeff as Thanos from Marvel! Uh-oh. I don't have any Infinity Gems, but I have... I've already won. Whoa! Well, yeah, you wait, man. Endgame's coming out. You're gonna get yours. Yeah. <laughs> Captain Marvel's gonna kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we're gonna say is Riley as Deathstroke from DC. Next, welcome to stage, Cash Cosplay as Male Bone Armor from Monster Hunter World. Okay, I've been hearing about your Kansas City barbecue, but this is ridiculous. Next, we have Powerhouse Cosplay as Raven from Teen Titans. Next, welcome to the stage, Danielle as Poison Ivy from DC Comics. I'd rake her leaves. <laughs> I'm naughty. Here, have some candy. And that. Ladies and gentlemen, concludes our novice category. Big round of applause for everyone in that. <laughs> Which means, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to turn the notch up one. We are entering now our journeyman category. Y'all ready for this? I said, are y'all ready for this? from Hearthstone World of Warcraft. Next one on the stage, Dustin as Gambit from X-Men. Uh 
all right, all right, all right, all right. Give us, give us a little bit of the accent. Well, uh, mon ami, I guess I could give you a little bit of Gambit's accent. <laughs> Next, on the stage, Kai Power Cosplay as Charizard from Pokemon. Next, we have Morgan as Molly Bottili from Critical Role. <laughs> Next, we're going to say is Tracy Cupcake as Valkyrie from Marvel. Next, welcome to the stage, Becky as Bernie the Reaper from Top Cow Image Comics. <laughs> Next, we have Richard as the Lone Wanderer from Fallout. Why, you cheeky tin can, you. Mm. Coming up next, we will have Ryan as Dante from Capcom. Next, please welcome Ashley as Snow Fright from Power Rangers. <laughs> Spooky. Next, we have Iridescent Vampire as Cinderfall from Ruby. Next, please welcome David as Aquaman from DC. <laughs> you lost a piece, Cinderella, Cinderella. <laughs> Next, please welcome to the stage, Baroness Fonte as Cold Flame Kaltaz from World of Warcraft. She's smoking! She's on fire! Get a bucket! Next, we have Meredith as Laura Croft from Rise of the Tomb Raider. Next, we have Avery and Abigail from Phantom of the Opera and Christine.
It's not so bad. <laughs> Next, walk on the stage, Morgan is Commander Shepard from Mass Effect. And next, welcome Kaisley as Cinderella from Walt Disney. Wait, wait, do we get the shoes? Whoa, we can see through them! <laughs> next, we have Sleepy Panda Designs as McCree from Overwatch. What time is it? It's high noon. Yeah! Next, welcome to the stage, Ben as Old Link from Nintendo. Welcome Shadow Cat Cosplay as Angelon from Digimon! <laughs> Next, from Crazy Costumes, we have Odin himself, the Allfather from Thor! our country, our teachers, our police officers, firefighters, and our veterans. May you all find passage to Valhalla. <laughs> Next, welcome to stage Twitchy Squirrel as Dread Queen Raven from Monster Hunter. Next, welcome to the stage, Stay Sam as Queen Abadala from Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. <laughs> I 
call for a vote of no confidence. <laughs> Next on the stage, Rose as Glinda the Good Witch from Wizard of Oz. So I just, just do this, right? Three times, one, two, just, but I'm already in Kansas. That's true, that's true, that's true. But I, <laughs> shut up. I'm from Orlando, okay, all right, enjoy this. How do I get back to Orlando? Oh, well, I don't have any shoes for you. <laughs> Absolutely. Apparently, for not knowing my Kansas is, I'm bad all around. <laughs> uh, thank, thank you, my dear. Good luck. Round of applause for Glenda. <laughs> and another round for my faux pas. <laughs> all right, welcome to the stage, Amanda and Papa Bear from the Angel of Death, Hellboy, da, 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 Dark Horse Comics. many a monster. Do it. Go ahead, take another shot. But next time, I'll swing my blade and it's the end for him. Move, human. Yeah! Our next performers are Tom, John, Chen, and Kelly as Terminator, John Connor, Sarah Connor, and the T-1000 from Terminator 2. We don't have much time. Skynet has taken over. We've time traveled here to the 20th anniversary for one reason, to bring down Cyberdyne systems. The system went online August 4th, 1997. <laughs> in two years, Planet Comic Con Kansas City began growing at an exponential rate. 
We knew it would take 20 years for you to be ready. Mom, don't worry. We've got a room filled with the most tactically trained warriors on the planet. And we've got a freaking Terminator. Terminator, stand on one foot. This is tactically dangerous. Hasta la vista, baby. Enter box. I'm keeping this. This is nice. Next, walk up the stage, we have Amber, Kayla, and Carol as Fashani Carter, Collins Carol, McKenna Kelsey, Empress of Hearts, Jabberwocky Gladiator, Alice Gladiator, Mad Hatter Gladiator, White Rabbit Gladiator, Cheshire Clack Gladiator, and that's all I've got. People of Wonderland, your Empress of Hearts promised you the most amazing Gladiator challenge. My Jabberwocky has been undefeated. However, we scoured every inch of Wonderland, and we found some, well, they think they're great, but we think they're pathetic. Gladiators, please come on. Jabberwocky, choose your contender. We have here the Cheshire. We know the Cheshire is very sneaky. She's just going to run away. Who's next? Jabberwocky, choose your next one. Here we have the Mad Hatter. Of course, crazy as a loon. I don't think she can take my Jabberwocky. Jabberwocky, do you choose her? No, she's not good enough. Next we have the White Rabbit. Always a little late. Definitely late this time. She's no match. Jabberwocky, is her heart good enough? She's too scared. Next, now this one's a little new. We haven't seen her around the gladiator circus. Who is this? Jabberwocky, test her. Oh, I think we have a contender. Wonderland, our new contender, Alice, and my champion, Jabberwocky. She still doesn't stand a chance. Thank you. but I know it's awesome when I see it. Keep that, that's, that's a great design right there. Next, we have Terry, Melissa, Rachel, Matthew, Victoria, Micah, as Ron Weasley, Hermione Granger, Harry Potter, Sirius Black, Doris Umbrez, Brother Dix Strange from Harry Potter.
I feel you, bro. I feel you. I feel you. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes our group category. A round of applause for all of them. Well, uh, judges, I do not envy you. You have some very difficult decisions to make, so uh, we await your decision. In the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to have some of our featured cosplayers coming up to our stages. Opening that, please welcome to our stage, Another Castle Creations. Another Castle Creations is a cosplay group of five friends that have been cosplaying together in the Midwest for several years. Some of their favorite parts of cosplay are crafting the outfits from scratch and getting to bring some of their favorite characters to life. costume in 2014 has since taught himself sewing and crafting skills, especially for creating foam props. You might as well find him wandering around the convention with this camera, as photography is another one of his passions. Also in the group, Ruby Silverado, created her first real costume in 2012, has been hooked ever since. From her first costume to her most recent creations, Ruby is constantly working to improve upon her skills. An accomplished seamstress, she has recently begun to branch out and teach herself foam work. Cassandra Jade and Luna Flair could not be here tonight, but we do have Lydia Hartwell, yes! Created her first costume several years ago, and before the convention was even over, was already planning her next. Creating costumes has allowed her to express her creativity through crafting, sewing, and cosplay. This is another Castle Creations! Oh, no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, yeah, who's, who, who's speaking to the group here? Okay, like, okay, so tell us a little, tell us a little more about, about this. Oh, sure. So uh, we decided to do uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, probably the best Zelda game in my personal opinion. Um, so uh, Ruby taught herself foam work, um, and she made all of this. Uh, the Farnsworth, uh, he 3D printed the sword, but Ruby put it all together, did all the finishing touches. Uh, her tunic is hand-painted, and she actually, her lines are like, perfection, <laughs> and I'm super jealous. Um, and she made her quiver on the back, it's all made out of foam as well. And she uh, put all of her belts together. Oh, and then the Farnsworth is the uh, old man from the very beginning of the game when you first wake up. And um, he, this is uh, fairy lights that are inside. This is all foam, um, pink insulation foam, and then PVC pipe that he's hand painted and weathered using several different techniques. Uh, he sewed and actually 3D designed his own buttons to the top of here. Um, and styled his wig and did all of that together. Very nice, very nice. Uh, do you have any social media outlets that we can follow you on? Yeah, we're on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, it's another castle creation. Very nice. And can you give us a good action pose? <laughs> another castle creation. Thank you so much for joining us. Hold on, my pages are misprinted. <laughs> Missy Mayhem, is that next? Right, 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 right. Oh, hi, okay, hi, please welcome to our stage, Missy Mayhem. Missy Mayhem is an internationally traveled, award-winning cosplayer, wrestler, and viral content creator with over a decade of experience. She is best known for her cosplays of her Goku from God Dragon Ball Z. She's a member of the International Brotherhood of Magicians, and during her time as a professional wrestler, she's worked along with such guests as The Boogeyman, Teddy Long, and Daryl Scott Hall himself. Today, I am cosplaying Lady Death from the Lady Death comics, and uh, I, she's a very powerful character, so I feel like bomb in this. It's very nice to be up here right now. Um, 
<laughs> Let's switch it. But uh, yes, this is really good. Because, uh, Brian Polito uh, is a good friend of mine, and uh, so I see all the time. This is a really outstanding job. So, what is it about Lady Death? Because she actually has a very good character arc and also a tragic arc. What sort of appeal does this character to you? I kind of really identify with.